Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums, tis I, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, for you guys out there, in the view of us, I have some news. Sean of the Murrays has gone and dropped an emoji over on the old Twitter space. Let's jump on over to Twitter and I'll show you what emoji has dropped. And then we'll start doing some speculations and some investigations. Heck yeah! Chicka pop out, chicka perm perm, and here I am. Over on the old Tinterwebs. There we are. And there's Sean of the Murray's emoji. Can you see it? Underneath his name there. It's a globe. It's a globe. It's like an Earth type globe. We'll get on to the importance of an Earth type globe in a second, people, I guess. So when it comes to an Earth type emoji, there can be different variants of it. I didn't realise this. I had no idea. But look, there's all sorts that depict different sort of continents of the globe. Now, this one is actually the globe showing the Americas, depicting the globe's position with the continents of North and South America. I don't think that pays much resemblance on it at all, unless they were looking for an emoji that shows a North and South divide. North America, South America, two different biomes, perhaps. Perhaps it means we might be getting dual biomes coming into No Man's Sky. Now, we know that their latest game, Light No Fire, has got multiple biomes on an Earth-like planet, which we'll get to in a moment as well, because the old speculation juices are flowing. But anyway, back over to here. And you can see here, I chimed in. I mean, this was at 10.43 p.m. Do you think I slept much last night, Sean of the Murrays? No! Too busy trying to work out what this might mean, people. Anyway, let's scroll on down. My first thoughts when I first saw this before going to bed was more variety to planets. That was the first and foremost thing. Alternate planets, because we had the Adrift Expedition recently, and that gave us the older style planets in a roundabout way and less life and all that sort of stuff. I'm wondering whether they might bring in a load of the older style type stuff through some sort of alternate realm, perhaps the realm of glass or the void, etc. Planet surveying. I put this one there mainly because of the Utopia expedition. We worked for the Utopia Corporation. We had to chart an abandoned system of space, upload all of that scanned data. And at the end of the expedition, that abandoned system was no longer abandoned and actually had a race there. I'm wondering whether we might have an overhaul come into abandoned systems and what we do there, similar to the Utopia expedition and maybe some sort of cross blend with the Adrift expedition. So that's what I was thinking as well. Multiple and new biomes, mainly because the North America, South America divide and all that sort of stuff. And also we know Light No Fire is going to have multiple biomes on a singular planet. Maybe Hello Games has managed to lift and shift some of that code to bring some of that wonder to some of the planets inside of No Man's Sky. Maybe one planet in every system might have dual biomes. I don't know. Maybe it could be that. Could explain why our discovery servers have been up and down, up and down like a freaking yo-yo over the last week or two. Maybe they're tweaking the discovery servers in the background to make use of multiple biomes. Don't know. My last one was Super Formula. I think that one's probably wishful thinking more than anything. I think if Hello Games was to bring in the Super Formula, it would be at a smaller scale than what we probably were let on to in early development of No Man's Sky, mainly because we were now on fixed biomes. We've gone down that path too far. And I honestly think that the Nintendo Switch would probably melt if they brought out the Super Formula. So there we go. That's pretty much that. But then I chimed in against my own comment. Seems pretty early for a summer update, July. I'm wondering if it would be a global save system. Experimental branch had the UI found inside of the saves. Yeah, yeah, we've had Hello Games. So it could be that Hello Games is going to have some sort of server in their HQ. Maybe we can upload one of our saves or multiple saves onto the Hello Games server and platform. And then, you know, say like if I've uploaded my PlayStation 5 save, then I launch my PC. Maybe on my PC I can log into that server, pick up my PlayStation save and bring it down to my PC where I would convert it to PC. I can still play it on my PlayStation 5, but now I can play it on my PC as well. Or I can put it on my Steam Deck and play it on the go, anywhere on the globe, anytime I want. Or, yeah, you know, maybe it's a global save system. 
Uh, that one, I think, could be it, to be honest, because I actually play on PlayStation, I mean, on my PC experimental save. And when I try to join my PlayStation save, it says incompatible right now. They haven't left something inside of experimental branch for this long. And I honestly do think it could be the cross savey, cloud savey, global savey thing. And this icon could demonstrate that, you know? So it could be, it could be something as simple as that, people. I say simple, it might feel simple to us because it's not content, it's not an expedition, it's not something to do. It is functional, but it could be. It could just be a functional update. But anyway, a lot of people are saying that maybe this has nothing to do with No Man's Sky. Maybe this Earth type emoji has got more to do with their latest game, Light No Fire, because if you hit up the trailer, it, it mentions different types of Earth. Shall we hit up that trailer? I'm going to hit up the trailer, but I can't really have the music on. I've got my own music on in the background anyway, but I can talk over it or whatever. So here we go. Let's make this full screen, shall we, people? Chicka pow pow, chicka boom boom. And um, let's hit play, shall we? You know what? I'll make this even bigger on the screen for you, people. One second. Okay, there we go. Nice and big. Let's hit play. Right, so if you look at the look, a multiplayer Earth, a procedural Earth, a fantasy Earth, and an explored Earth. All footage in game and multiplayer. So there we go. It could be that, couldn't it? And it could be that Hello Games might be looking to bring some of the stuff from this over to No Man's Sky. I mean, they both share the same sort of engine and there's no reason why the higher end and, you know, the next generation platforms couldn't handle some of this lovely generation when it comes to foliage and the trees and maybe even the multiple biomes that we see inside of Light No Fire could translate over to No Man's Sky and we might see dual biomed planets because the code already exists in Light No Fire. They could lift and shift some of that code over to No Man's Sky. And I have seen that com comment echoed out amongst my own content. So yeah, I think it could have some sort of weight to it, people inside the viewerverse. Thank you. And so that one is, that one I think has got a lot of plausibility to it. It could actually really happen. But anyway, I've done some more polls over on the old Tinter web. So let's, let's just um, stop that little trailer for a second right there. And let's jump on over to my polls on the old Tinter webs. Okay, so scrolling down on here, I did quite a lot of polls. And the first one here, Sean didn't drop a gib, just the emoji. It might be another expedition or a functional update. It may be something less grand. Feels a tad early for the summer update. If that's the case, here are some of my smaller ideas. Let me know what you think, sort of thing. Expedition, based on wonders and exploration, 22% of people feel it could be that. The global save, cross save update to Hello Games. 40% of people think it could be that. That one's the highest of likelies of the least sort of like, you know, crazy hyped up ideas that we have at the moment. Augmented reality mode for newer VR headsets. So a lot of new VR headsets have front facing cameras where you can see the world. Imagine that you look at your desk and there's a no man's sky planet there with your player model and your ship on the desk. That would be pretty darn cool. You know, we've seen it done with Minecraft. They could do that with No Man's Sky, couldn't they, really? Change to the Discovery servers and global multiplayer fixes. 7% of people feel it could be that. I kind of feel that they could probably bundle this one, this 7%, into perhaps the 40% one that's further up anyway, you know. So it, it could be a little bit of that, and they might even throw in the expedition. Heck, it could be all three of the top rated ones here. The VR, AR mode... Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen either. 1% of people reckon that. But yeah, I don't think that's on the horizon. I think that would be something that would probably come out after they're pretty much done with No Man's Sky and it's got a big bow on it. Then maybe if AR technology has hit more headsets, then maybe they might do that. But that one I just threw in because I could put in four. <laughs> okay, right. So scrolling on down. Next off, we've got this one. Lots of people think that the emoji posted by Sean Murray might be for Light No Fire rather than No Man's Sky. 
or might mean elements of light no fire might be coming to no man's sky. If we go by elements, here is a poll of what I feel is most likely. Add your own to the comments. Multiple biomes to planets, 11% of people feel that. Planet overhaul, graphics terrain and wonders. 43% of people are going with that. Okay, Larger planets with more to do to keep you exploring, 6%. It might be a new trailer for Light No Fire or more on Light No Fire, not No Man's Sky. 25% of people. Oh my days. So it does look like people think it's going to be a planetary overhaul with terrain and adding more wonders into the game. At the moment, if you go to your wonders page on your discoveries, it has got a different total to the amount of wonders you can find. So it does feel like there's more to come when it comes to the wonders. So I think there's already a hint inside a game that it might be going that way. I think that the emoji showing the North America, South America split could just be coincidence. It might not have been an intention to say that there's going to be a North and South to the planets. However, sometimes when you land on a planet and you're looking for certain fauna in certain um, in certain planets, it actually says this creature can be found in the north or this creature can be found in the south only. So Hello Games have already put the logic in for a north and south divide on planets and it's been there for a little while. They could quite easily make it a north and south biome mix, couldn't they? And that could be entertaining. So I don't I don't think you can rule out that 11%. I think that 11% could be something of a hidden sort of gem in this but i do think it's going to be maybe the two combined i think it might be those two combined i think a slight planet overhaul with graphics terrain and wonders and i think we might see some of the terrain from yesteryear come back into game a little bit like what they wanted to do with a drift mm. and could this be delivered perhaps in an alternate realm Maybe the realm of glass or the void, perhaps. But anyway, let's scroll on down to the actual comments on this one. Let's just have a quick butchers at the old comments. I'm not going to read them all out. I'm just going to do a, 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 a um, slow little scroll and just show you what people are thinking out there inside of the verse. I mean, you can you can pause this, but thank you very much for everybody that's been taking part and putting in comments. I mean, there's not a great deal of comments on here. This hasn't been running all that long. So if you do want to come and jump on over and sound off on these sort of like, you know comments then please do i mean it's the weekend we've got to go through the whole of the weekend yet yeah? and before anything else kicks off when it comes to no man's sky now that i don't think anything is going to kick off for no man's sky over the weekend and i'm going to get into that in a moment anyways 11 hours ago i also did this considering no man's sky is a game full of planets an emoji of a planet emoji has to be the hardest thing to speculate on as there's 16 quintillion of the things. Here is a poll of what I think is most likely. Got an idea, not listed. Then add it to the comments. So I even put like little mini names at the front of here. So Eden. Overhaul to abandoned systems. Utopia adrift combined. Yeah, so what I was saying with like the Utopia update. We worked for the Utopia faction. And we actually sold the data back to the Utopia Corporation. And then the planet, the whole abandoned system came into life. Maybe that might be added in. But I'm thinking maybe we might be doing it in an adrift sort of way. Maybe all the abandoned systems are going to be more like adrift. Got a little bit more eeriness to them. No, home worlds of the races, Void Prime and maybe part four of the ARG might be concluded inside of this update. I'm thinking maybe they might add in Beleron and Darandar and Corvax Prime and you know, Void Prime as well perhaps biosphere better proc gen old planet styles more variety and maybe even a little bit of what we see in light no fires engine that lifted and shifted over to no man's sky hence the, the links there as well maybe a whole new planetary algorithm to how planets are generated tundra more wonders planets physics time of day and weather yeah, so more of a physics based thing, perhaps a lot of the planets have got the same sort of night and day cycle and the time to them depend. Even the larger ones and the smaller ones seem to have that same sort of time of day mix. It'd be nice if they mix that up a bit. But is that really content? Is it really an update? Don't think so. But anyways, 52% of people out there inside of the community are saying biosphere, better proc gen, old planet styles and more variety. And to be honest, I, I would have to agree with that. 
I, I can't, that was my gut feeling when I first saw the Earth emoji. More planetary variety is the first thing that my mind went to and my gut feeling was lured, lured to. The only thing is, the thing that's making me think it might not be any of that is the fact that the experimental PC update right now inside of the actual data mined files that um, that bomber boy dived into has found a UI for cloud saves within side of Hello Games. So it looks like we will be able to upload a save to Hello Games, download it onto different platforms and play on any platform our legacy saves perhaps or chosen save. I think that is the most likely of things. That's where I'm setting my bare minimum sort of hopes, expectations or whatever is around that sort of like a save that we can bring down, a global save. I kind of think that that's what's going to happen inside of July. And then I think we might get a bigger summer update, you know, in August or September. That's what I'm thinking. And that's what, what's been my gut feeling for a little while. If you watch we, what we know is happening inside of July video, watch that because that's exactly what I speculated. And I think that I don't really want to move my, that's my gut feeling. That's what my mind's telling me as well at the same time. So. I think that's probably where I'm hedging my bets. I mean, you guys, you can hedge your bets wherever you want. But, you know, I kind of think that what that Bomber Boy found has got relevance. Anyway, I'll put that Bomber Boys video over in the top right corner, all the way over that side of the screen, hit that up. And I'll probably put it as an end card to this video as well. So you can watch that from the end screen. So don't worry if you haven't hit that thing, it'd be on the end screen as well. I may even put it in the video description because I know it can be difficult if you're watching on a smart TV to get to that on the end screen, you might miss it. So yeah, I'll put it everywhere. Cool. So watch that one because I honestly think that has got the most likelihood of happening. Yes, it's not as glitzy and as crazy as any of these things that you're seeing in this poll here, but we shall see. I'm just hitting up the comments here in the background as well. I'll get on to that in a second. Um, well, to be honest, it is going to happen fairly soon. But I'll get to that in a minute. I'll just scroll through these uh, comments quite slowly so you can actually, you know, take those in. But anyways, let's jump back over to me. Let's make myself a little bit larger on the old screen, shall we, for a second, people? And where am I? There I am. Chikapa! Chikaboom! I'm back here. So we've got the Adrift Expedition. And it's still running for another two days, according to in-game. But according to the game files, this ends on the 15th of July at 1 p.m. UK time. So I don't think we're going to see anything until after the 15th at 1 p.m. Mainly because the Adrift Expedition, when it ends and people have finished the expedition, it says, do you want to, it just automatically converts your save, it doesn't ask you anymore, it just converts your save from an expedition save to a normal save. If this update is to do with Hello Games' new cloud type global save system that we're seeing inside of Experimental right now, I don't think they're gonna wanna put it live over this weekend Why people are still in a save that's about to convert because that's going to cause all sorts of weird shenanigans. I think Hello Games is going to wait until the Adrift Expedition ends on Monday. And then I think this is probably going to go live maybe for PC players, maybe on the, the Monday, Tuesday, so they can start doing the testing to make sure there's nothing glaringly evil in there that's going to break stuff. But then I think it's going to have to roll out on all the other platforms pretty much at the same time because you're going to be transferring your file to all of those other platforms. So I think we might see this happen maybe Wednesday or Thursday of this week coming. Okay, so Wednesday or Thursday of this week coming. Let's have a look at where I think. All right, so the Adrift Expedition ends on the 15th, which is the Monday. The Tuesday, I don't think we're going to see anything happen there, apart from maybe a little bit more hype driving. But I think it might happen on Wednesday the 17th, or the Thursday, the 18th of July, mainly because that's the release window, usually for PlayStation, uh, PSN. So I'm thinking 17th or 18th, we're going to see this update drop. Now, there could be a chance that we might see a trailer drop. Now, if we see a trailer drop happen, it might allude to more than just a crossed save type thing. I kind of think if they are to add anything else in, it might be touching on the Wonders catalog. It might be touching on doing planetary surveying a little bit like what we saw in the Utopia expedition. I don't think we're going to see much larger than that. 
I kind of still think they're going to hold on to the part 4 and conclusion of the ARG arc, perhaps for the big summer update. And I think that might include maybe going into the Void, the Realm of Glass, all that sort of shenanigans, and the conclusion part to the Void Mother, and how that sort of affects the Atlas, how that affects legacy saves, and the choice that we made to align ourselves with the Atlantid or to the Atlas. I think that's going to come as part of the large summer update, I think this is going to be more of a functional thing, maybe quality of life thing, and maybe give us another expedition to run. And when that expedition ends, that's when we're going to see the summer update drop. Also, we've got some Quicksilver items left to go. We've got one more firework to unlock. And then we've got three posters coming up. And then we've got another three fireworks after that. And I'm kind of thinking that we're going to have the posters run and then there might be a break before we get that last set of fireworks. And I'm wondering whether those last set of fireworks will be around, you know, October time, November time, when they're finished unlocking, because fireworks and bonfire nights and all that sort of shenanigans is my thoughts. But then at the same time, I'm thinking they might want to get some Halloween-y type stuff into the Quicksilver store as well. So perhaps those fireworks might unlock around October, or they might shoehorn shoe horn in a few new Quicksilver items Items that might move those fireworks over to November. So there's a lot of there's a lot of things going on in this old grey matter, wondering what we might see and when we might see it. But for now, I think July and this new Earth-like emoji that we're seeing is for global saves. And I kind of feel they might put in a few new wonders and they might put in the way of bringing abandoned systems back to life, like inside of Utopia. And I think if we're extremely lucky, we might get another expedition to run all the way up to when the summer update is going to be pa packaged and put out there, people. That's my thoughts. But sound off in the comments. Let me know if you think I'm right or whether I'm wrong and what you think. OK, because, you know, looking at those polls, everything is quite likely. But a lot of people have been hitting the same sort of note as I've been hitting there. The only other note they have been hitting is maybe this might be planetary variation. Now, that is what I feel is going to be top end. Bottom end, global save type stuff. Top end, planetary variation, proc gen, maybe dual biomes. That's the top of the hype train at the moment. So if you're in the top carriage, yeah, if you're in first class, that's kind of where probably people are going to set their expectations. Planetary variation, proc gen, maybe dual biomes. They're in the first class carriage. Back in economy class, where I'm sitting myself at the moment, is global saves. Now, you know me. I like to hype things up. I like to say what what is in my flights of fantasy. But the last few updates that Hello Games have put down there have been quite functional, haven't been as deep as or as complex or added as much depth as what I thought was going to happen in this year. I know Sean of the Murray said this year was going to be a big year. If you're holding on to that, sit yourself up in those first class seats and hold on to that speculation that there might be some proc gen coming in this one. But I'm, I'm just worried, people, that this might be another fractal. Do you remember the snowflake emoji? where every snowflake is unique, and I thought it was going to be proc gen times 10. <laughs> and it turned out, no, it was just the name of a, an expedition, and we got the Utopia Speeder or whatever. Yeah, I don't want to set myself up for that kind of fail, but, you know, as last time. But, you know, it's, it's the same train. It's the same hype train. There's the back end, back end stuff, which I think is the global save, front end could be all the glitz and glamour of proc gen just putting it out there it could be somewhere between the two okay so set your expectations where you want to set your expectations i really do hope that this year is going to be a big year but if it was a big year i'd be expecting to see a gib alongside of this emoji if if monday rolls around and tuesday comes and we see a gib emoji appear Hold on to your seats, people, because I'm going to be legging it up to that first class carriage and sitting amongst the people of the same proc gen and craziness and dual biomes. I'll be right there with my first class ticket upgraded. <laughs> but until then, no, I'm going to sit patiently where I am and think this is going to be you know, global save system because we're seeing that inside of the data files. You know, we might get both. We might. We might. That's possible. You, Yeah, we might. We might. But for now, I don't want to set myself up for disappointment. I'm just going to go with 
it's probably more than likely the global savings and there is a crazy chance a crazy chance like about a 10 percent chance right now until we hear or see more in this week coming if we see a trailer if we see all the sales start happening if we see some crazy stuff start happening if we see the gib drop then yeah things are gonna change my thoughts and feelings are going to change watch this space hit that bell hit the subscribe and i'll keep you informed until next time goodbye goodbye and goodbye again <laughs>